hello what up my dudes welcome or welcome back to my channel i am scribbles the artist and crocheter behind eclectic scribbles and i forgot to do an intro for this video so watch me struggle with this blasted freaking cube setup because i'm telling you i was struggling hard but now that it is all set up i think it's going to work out great and i'll talk to you more about that during the video but yeah i just had to come on here and say hello welcome i love your faces i hope you enjoy the video Let's go! Alright you guys, so I figured I'd give you a little update. I have got my stuff actually set up in four foot sections. So behind these two, which are my... Um, behind these two, which are my plushy walls, I have got two four foot sections of my actual art wall i'm knocking shit over i've got this wall set up it's going to be four foot and then it's going to sit on top of this everything is reinforced with zip ties as well so it's not going to come apart but i'm like why am i tearing it down every single time if i have my setup fixed in my mind as to what i want it to be why not leave it up in sections that is easy to put up and pull down because I have a trailer that allows me to do that. And even if I didn't have the trailer, um, if I remove this top row up here of those, these four foot by four foot sections would fit in my SUV. So why am I tearing them down? So I went ahead and I set the plushy wall up with the two hooks per square, which is what I do. I've got the back wall of the mesh one done. I've got this little four by four section, which will be some storage in my booth done. And then the art wall, I just need to actually fill in all the other squares with art and products and stuff in the actual signage. But yeah, I'm just gonna carry these in to the convention in these four foot sections um so they're they're light enough it's not heavy to carry and it will be easy to set up so i'm gonna run zip ties along the top there and they're gonna hook to my poles that way so yeah we're gonna give that a shot for this convention and see how it works out but i figured you know work harder or work smarter not harder right work smart not hard yes okay Okay, so I am currently burning up, but I have got all of my panels together the way that I want them. I have moved all the plushy panels and the wire grid panels out to the to the trailer and set them up the way that I want to. I have got everything in the trailer organized, so now all I need to do is work on the art panel boards. So. I think that's going to be a tomorrow thing for me. <laughs> um, I got to figure out what I want on them and how I want them set up. If I want to add more stickers in. So we're going to have to wait and see on that. I also need to figure out what I'm going to do for my little checkout station. Which is going to be, I think, on the art side of things. Um, or in that corner. So I need to figure out how much room that I've got. I also think that I am going to get a garment rack off of Amazon for like 15 bucks um, so that I can put the sweatshirts on that instead and I'm going to use the wire grid for my keychains this time because I've got all of these nice spooky season um, relatable sort of keychains and I'd like to get rid of them so we're going to see if these sell um, because it's an appropriate time of year so I've got to put them all out I'm so hot. I'm burning up. But that is what I've done for right now. That is a lot, a lot of work. I still need to go through and barcode everything that's going to be loose. It's a lot of work up front, but I think that it's going to be good in the long run. I think that it is going to make setting up a breeze as is it's gonna you know make break it down a breeze too um because after a, a convention you're so tired you just want to break down and go and things can tend to get packed up sort of messily and i don't want to do that so 
easy up, easy down is what I'm trying to achieve here. Um, but I have left some wiggle room in the way that I've designed this to allow for me to set up at a table as well because there's still two conventions up in the air, two galaxy cons up in the air as to whether I can bump up to a, a booth or not. I'm waiting on an answer. I've been waiting on an answer for over a month, but it is what it is. I'm going to continue to organize things and get them ready to go. I have got my sweatshirts here ready to go. I have my actual vinyl transfers, um, my um, DTF transfers are on the way finally. I got that issue sorted out. So I'm looking for those to get here in the next couple of days maybe. They've actually started to move toward me, but they're coming from Texas. So it's going to take a couple of days and they're coming USPS. So it's not like they're going to come fast. I've also purchased a new Epson printer. Purchased a new printer. Um, I want to use that printer with the Eco Tank and see if I can't bust out some notepad designs. I really want some new notepads and I don't want to use this expensive printer for that and run that print head to death. I would rather use the less expensive but still really good quality. And I've got ink for days because I turned this eco tank into a sublimation printer. So I have all of the bottles of ink that came with it. So I've got that ink. I've got the ink that has come with this new printer. And I think I have ink that came from the one that got clogged up still. So I'm going to run this bad boy and see if I can't uh, put together some notepads. I think that that would be really, really cool to have. So I'm going to design a couple of those and see how that goes. I just got my game sheet in the mail and I'm so freaking excited I can't even tell you. Oh my goodness. It took me a little bit of doing to get this here, but I cannot wait. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. So this is the DTF transfer sheet that I ordered to put on my sweatshirts so I can finally start making those. Um, I'm so excited. I'm so curious as to how these things are gonna come out. I've never used DTF before. I'm super nervous and super excited all at, all at once. This is so weird. It feels so weird so weird so basically now I've got this um, I think it was like a 22 inch by like a 48 inch or 120 inch gang sheet so all of these are to go on shirts now they look they look a little bit small they look a little bit small but I might be crazy I think these were small these okay these I did for me I just did because I wanted to fill up the bottom of the game sheet these still look kind of small um, that's why I got the ones at the bottom I am gonna test on a sweatshirt that I would like to keep for myself the big scribbles the big scribbles is what I'm gonna test for myself I just don't know if I want it on the front or if I want it on the back. I think I want it on the front. I'm gonna put a Scribbles on a sweatshirt. All right, y'all, voiceover scribbles coming back at you because this was a completely nerve wracking process. I am not even gonna lie. So this is the first one that I did. You could see how nervous I am. Um, and I don't know what I was thinking. It's supposed to be like a warm peel thing. When I tell you that I stuck this shirt in there a lot of times and I just cut it out because I didn't think it was going to peel, I am not even close to kidding. But, I mean, look at it. It's gorgeous. It came out perfect. So, even though this is supposedly a hot peel um, DTF transfer, I found that if I let it cool off, I get a better peel. I mean, I didn't get a horrible peel peeling it off hot, but just sometimes you want to give it a little time to breathe before you pull it off and that way nothing comes up i had absolutely zero flaws with any of these shirts and i did i have 18 in each color 
so yeah it was 36 shirts i had zero zero issues which is good because this shit is not cheap but yeah nerve-wracking process oh gosh my nerves were tore up after this hi guys so i know i haven't chatted to this um camera in quite a while and i figured i would do so now i'm about to test out my newest design for this glass cup this is my little kitty cemetery kind of design i did i will put in a little quick time lapse from procreate um, while we wait for this little tumbler to be done my thing is heating up right now but yeah i've been kind of intro extra introverted for the past couple of weeks um, I've been keeping my head down. I've been organizing stuff for the conventions that I have coming up. I have three in the next month, month and a half. So I have one at the very end of September, 1st of October. I have one mid-October and then I have one early November. So I've got a lot of work to do and I've been revamping my convention setup. So it's been, it's been a struggle. Um, I'm trying to make things easier and faster to set up and yeah it's just been it's just been a mess oh i think i think oh yeah we're we're all heated up so i'm gonna put this new design in we're gonna see how she do Let's see how she do so i will put in a quick time lapse of the design here all right so here we go through the procreate time lapse it's gonna go really really quickly but i really love this scene i thought it was super cute i think what i'm gonna do is a lot more designs like this that are based on like a scene to put on the tumblers and cups let me know what you think down in the comments um i love this idea i love having a specific theme and scene for uh, an individual like collection or something so if y'all would like to see more collections based off of scenes like this definitely drop a comment down below i just i love how this one came out and the cup came out so perfect on this one i need to make a different one if i'm going to do it on a tumbler as well but yeah more of these to come for sure all right so i just took this out um she's probably still a little warm she is but i'm impatient so we're gonna we're gonna attempt to peel here i never get those like super cool peels but that's okay we're gonna peel it ugly i've broken like all of my nails so i have nothing to peel the tape up with here is the reveal oh my goodness <gasps> you guys oh my goodness it came out so nice <gasps> i love it oh my god look at it it's still hot on the bottom look oh my god y'all you don't even know it's so nice oh oh i'm in love it looks so good check it out spooky thing oh, oh i love it oh, i love it i love it i love it all right you guys are doing a little checking in here i've got a list of things that i still need to accomplish before convention one of which is getting all of my prints ready so here is my cauldron monster that i just finished up here recently it is on um luster paper and i absolutely love this stuff it's the koala eight and a half by eleven premium photo paper in luster i love this paper so much it gives so much um detail to the to the print itself little fine details so i'm gonna pull one up here that's not actually in the thing yet look at how pretty that is colors just come out so vibrant i mean that's a little to do with the paper and a little to do with my printer settings but yeah i've got that one printed and 
I just finished printing this one, which I'm going to cut down. Um, I just don't have this size paper. So this is my little boo monster. Isn't he cute? Love him so much. I am packaging these up right now. These are the only two that I've done so far. Um, I'm working on some more prints. I'm working on a fall tumbler design that I put up on my TikTok last night. Um, as part of my sketch timber, I sketched out the um, design for it. I've got the flat colors laid on the character, so I am working on that today. I'm trying to get as much of the art side of things out of the way as possible before this convention because I feel like with these conventions being two weeks apart and three back to back, you know, um, you know have a convention get two weeks to recoup and then have a convention get two weeks to recoup and then have the last convention um i'm really gonna have to heavily focus my efforts on crochet which to tell you the honest truth i strained some stuff in my hand when i was working on my setup on my left hand so it was painful for me to crochet and i honestly have not picked up a crochet hook in like a week maybe more um, I, I want to say in like a week so that is a week's worth of work that I could have had done by now but just don't I don't know how oh I got more I got more I gotta cut these down but yeah so it's gonna be heavy on the crochet when I do come back um, from each convention I feel like I feel like I'm missing one. I think I might have stuck two together in one. Who knows? No. I just can't count. That's all. That's all. But, um, yeah. So, you might see a lot of crochet content on in between the conventions because I, I'm probably going to have to switch things up and do mostly crochet um, to, to get back to where I was. So... What I'm trying to do with that is I'm trying to narrow down the different types of items I want to have at the conventions so that I don't have just a bunch of miscellaneous things floating around. Like there's some things that I have that were just one-offs and you know, they're just not my most popular items. So I'm probably gonna eliminate those at conventions and maybe have them as something that you can purchase on the website instead. Um, because yeah, I don't know. Um, I, I want to have sort of a consistency across the board with conventions. So I don't want to have to question, oh gosh, what do I need to make this time? Or what do I need to make this time? It's like, this is how many of this that I usually bring. And this is how many that sold at the last one. So this is how many I need to make, if that makes sense. I also need to do all my cups. I need to test out some microfiber cloths. Um, I need to, I need to do a lot of stuff. So there's going to be a lot of sublimation in the next week as well. Bubby wants to say hello. Hello, Bubby. Hello. I know. I know. Yes, he's he's such a good boy. Give me a kiss. Hey. Okay. Thank you. Okay. That was like right on my mouth. I meant more cheekish. I don't know what he's staring at, but he's staring at it hard. You staring at it hard, Pop Pop? Yeah? Yeah? Okay. Yeah? Alright, we got work to do, Papa. Hop down. Hop down. Hop down. You're not gonna? You're not going to? What? What is it? I don't know what you're looking at. Studying it hard. Pop -ups. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. That was a drop by. Ugh. Anyways, so now I've got to go wash my hands and my face. Anyways, I figured I'd give you a little update on what was going on. The <laughs> reflection of the solo bags is giving me some lighting. Some some, you know, expert lighting. There he goes. I don't know. I don't know. I'm going to go cut these down so that I can bag them up. Okay, so I got a couple more printed. We got our little bashful one. I'm trying to get out of the, the glare of the screens in the windows. So we got the little bashful one. 
I did. I showed you Boo in the Cauldron Monster already. And we've got Scully here as a print finally. I printed him up. And we have got our Voodoo Mushroom as a print as well. I'm going to be putting the prints up on my shop very, very soon. I want to do a shop update when I get back probably. Um, but these are going to go to the convention with me. I just print five of each. And I find that that is a good number for right now for art prints. Um, because they do have a lot of options to choose from. I think I'm also going to set the art prints out. Um, for people to flip through again this this convention so um, they can you know grab one and pick it up and really inspect it in addition to just being able to see it up on the wall so we've got these that's five new prints I think that's plenty um, ready to go and I'll switch up the prints you know and switch things in and out as needed uh, what I need to do now is work on the maybe a repeating pattern I need to do some more mouse mats and I need to do some more tote bags so I do need to do some sublimation I think what I'm gonna do is get my file set up and print it out for today and then press tomorrow sounds like a plan to me I don't know if it sounds like a plan to you but it sounds like a plan to me so I am going to jump on and start working on this all right, y'all, so last little voiceover scribbles for today. Look at how cute this cup is. I can't even get over it. I'm going to show you some good close-ups of them. But, yeah, I also did cinnamon roll. Cinnamon roll is really popular with me for some reason at my booth. So I had to make some of him because I didn't have any more. And the autumn one, oh, my goodness. I'm going to show you all of them. I really am. But just enjoy some cup peeling action these came out so good i just i love making tumblers and cups now i didn't i didn't think that this was a good thing like a year ago but now that i have done it and oh i just can't even stop i just keep designing stuff for it i hope y'all like these tup, uh, cups and tumblers drop a heart down below if you love the cups hey guys i figured i would show you some stuff that i am working on considering the fact that I am putting eyeballs and stuff on things. So I have got five voodoo dolls. This one, this one, got this one, and this one. All right, so there's the voodoo doll. These are all the larger size of voodoo doll that I make with the Sweet Snuggles Light rather than the um, Parfait Chunky. I've got Cal. This cow um, needs eyeballs. I found that I really freaking don't enjoy <laughs> making eyeballs. So I think I'm going to be purchasing eyeballs from now on. Um, and then I made these. I made these. Look at how cute they are. So I've got a little chocolate baby. And a little vanilla baby. And then I have got one more of each. This one still needs a flower. And they both need eyeballs. So I did that and then I have this, this one right here. So this is the sea turtle fin mod for Tofu the turtle um, on, on Etsy. So Tofu the turtle and this one needs eyeballs as well. I've been putting eyeballs on some stuff back here. So I've been putting eyeballs on these little bears. I think I'm going to turn into little keychain um i've got a few little chunky frogs back here i've got an axolotl that needs eyeballs um i made one pickle because i had just a little bit of yarn left over oh. so bye bye pickle oh this is not for you this is not for you it's one pickle um and then i was trying to experiment with this this is not ready to go yet because this is literally just free handed free hand free hand anyways it's a little chicky or a little ducky with a little butt quack a little butt quack so it's got a little tush on it um which i thought was super cute i think what i want to do is i want to move the feet up one row and i want to do a, something just a little bit different with the wings but other than that 
this will be a new pattern coming out. Um, I've got to put some eyes on some Miffies. Got a Miffy back here. I've got a couple of little freehand axolotls, so they're not the same. <laughs> so they're not the same. I was just testing out some stuff for some little, little axolotls, but I've got these. They need eyeballs. Um, I got a couple of cinnamon rolls back here that need eyeballs, so I'm working on all of that, trying to get all of that done. Um, here's the main reason why I'm telling you right now that I don't like making eyes. Do you see this mess? I took my eyes off of it for one second and this started happening, but I've got enough eyeballs, I think, to do what I need to do, which is the most important thing, and then your girl will be buying eyeballs because this is just not it for me this tape this okay so anybody who makes um these in bulk especially with heat transfer vinyl i guess who thought that this was heat resistant for some some reason um but yeah y'all who use heat transfer vinyl like what the flip i you know, because i can't do it I can't even do it. It is so tedious. <laughs> it is so time consuming and tedious. I hate it. So I'm just gonna buy felt eyes from other small businesses. So if you sell felt eyes, hit me up in the comments and I will come and check out your shop because yeah, this is not it for me. This is not it. Um, but I don't want to put safety eyes on everything, you know, because then you have to be, you know, sort of aware of the, the smaller kitties and the smaller kitties don't need safety eyes, um, to, you know, break off and go down their little tummies, you know? So I'm in a, I'm in a state like this felt doesn't even cut worth a damn. And I put it through twice and that's why it's all screwed up. It came out fine the first time, except for the shit wasn't cut out. And then the second time, it started going fine, but when it got to the smaller sets of eyes, it was like, you know what? I'm, I'm just not, I'm just not into it anymore. Um, so I'm gonna screw up literally every one of them. But I'm gonna try to see if I can salvage some eyeballs out of this to put on my cinema rolls because they, they are supposed to have blue eyes, blue. So, I don't know. Anyway, that's the update. I almost forgot. Y'all saw me pressing these, but I cannot tell you how freaking excited I am. Of course, there's going to be a glare. How freaking excited I am about these cups. It turned out so bright and so vibrant. I did a pretty good job of making the, the seam match up here, um, which I'm, I'm pretty happy about. It's, you know, it's about as good as it's going to get, but... Oh, much color and detail is in this. Like, isn't that? Ugh, I just love this. So her name is gonna be Autumn because, duh, it's it's fall, it's autumn. Get out, get off my face. Focus. Look at how pretty she is. She's got her little sweater cardi thing on she's got a little frog and some little mushrooms and she's just running down an autumn path with this nice autumn sky behind her love it and then we've got this little kitty in the graveyard with the ghosts focus 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 check out so these are the new two two new cup designs. I have this one up already. I'm gonna put her up as soon as I can, but I'm gonna be taking both to the convention with me. And I'm so freaking excited about it. I love this. This came out so nice. All right, we got some packages in the mail. This I know what it is because I ordered it yesterday and it was supposed to be here today. This is some new sublimation paper. So I use the Koala brand paper for like pretty much everything that I do. It's a really good price for it. It's 150 sheets, eight and a half by 11. I think I paid 15. It was like 15 bucks. I had credit, so I only paid $5. Um, but the actual product itself is 15 bucks, which is really good. It's like 11 cent per sheet. And then I feel like this is the bottom. I don't know which is the bottom and 
This says this is the top. All right, well, we're gonna trust it and see what happens. I'm not sure what's in this box yet. See what this is. This is 20 ounce sublimation tumbler blank skinny straight bulk. Okay, so this is 20 ounce skinny tumblers. Let's check it out. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Oh yeah, okay. So we've got a pack of eight here pack of eight these come with a, a straw and a straw cleaner which I think is actually really nice um, the ones that I usually get aren't like that and the ones that I usually get the 20 ounce skinnies come with a plastic straw and no straw cleaner so that's a little addition that I don't have in my current supply. All right, so Mr. Scribbles calls right in the middle of me unboxing this thing. So we'll just, I don't remember where I was. This is a window box, 20 ounce tumbler. Looks like this. This is the lid on it. Oh, that's nice and, that's nice and It seems like it would lock in really, really well. So, oh, let's see. I've got all kinds of things in here. Oh my goodness. All right, so this looks like uh, the little non-slip doohickey thing that you put on the bottom of these, which I don't have for any of my current ones. This is a ribbon. I guess so you tie it around the box to make it look like a gift. This is um, one of the sublimation sleeves. If you have to do this in the oven instead of having a tumbler press. So yeah, it comes. Each one of them comes with all of these accessories. Um, they look really, really nice. Like really nice. Let's compare to the ones that I usually get. So I'm gonna move this out of the way real quick. Let's just move this box out of the way. And we'll put them up sort of side by side here in just a second. Let me move you down. I don't know if I can move you down. Let's, let's put you right here. Maybe a little bit more down. Alright, so let's shine a little light on it. Okay, here we go. So, these are the ones that I usually get. So, this is the box that they come in. The box is basically the same size. This comes wrapped like so. And they look like they have the same design. So, putting them up next to each other, they do. They have the same, same design. Um, both of them feel super secure. Um, so that's all mine comes with. It's just the cup itself. And then they come with a plastic straw. Let me grab one. Okay. So they come with a plastic straw that looks like this. And they come with the sublimation sleeves if you need them. So that's what these look like. Now, let's see. Comparison in price, I will put up on the screen here um, the one that I normally get versus this one. Um, I think that these are a little bit more expensive than the ones that I have. I'm not sure. I'm going to have to check them. But overall, the quality of the product is really nice. I really like the metal string or straw. String. I like the metal straw. I like that it comes with a little um, straw brush cleaner. That's really nice. And I actually really like this because it gets a little confusing when you're going to conventions and you're making a bunch of these at one time um, to get them all back in the right boxes. So this way, that's not, an, that's not necessary. So this way, you could just 
put them in any box and you wouldn't have to worry about labeling the boxes because you could see what's on the front of them. So this company is, is this, is this company right here? I will link the product down below, but it is an eight pack of 20 ounce sublimation tumbler blanks. So yeah, um, I like it. I think they're great. Um, thank you so much for reaching out to me. I can't wait to try these out. Love these. Absolutely love these. And I love the tumbler. I can tell you because I get one exactly like it. So this is exactly what I would want to purchase. Um, I will drop it down in the, um, I will put it up on the screen. Um, like I said, what they're worth or how much they cost. All right, you guys, so I have pretty much done everything that I can do for this convention, and basically, I'm just gonna sit back and relax for today and tomorrow and work on some art and some things that I wanna work on. So I'm gonna end the Con Crunch Artist Alley Prep vlogs here. I love your faces so much. Bop Bop loves your faces. Hey, Papa. Hey, Papa. Oh, he's killing me. He's killing me. Bubba loves your faces. We will see you in the next video. Um, stay tuned for how the artist alley goes after this. And we'll see you in the next video. Uh, smash the thumbs up button if you haven't already. Hit that subscribe button and the notification bell so you are informed each and every time I upload new content. Uh, drop a star in the comments if you have made it to the end. And we will see you in the next video video. He's coming with me, by the way, to Artist Alley because we've got to be gone for an entire weekend. And, uh, yeah. Anyways, drop a star in the comments. I love your faces. I'll see you in the next video. Bye, y'all!